So this is how to disassemble the HP MV laptop to upgrade your RAM or upgrade your solid state hard drive or in my particular case, the gentleman who owns this laptop, no it's not mine, left this out in the rain and it was actually submerged with water and yes, I've actually been able to bring it back to life. Uh, the only thing I actually found was a bad piece of RAM. So um, really quickly, let's go ahead and get into it. So you'll notice all the screw holes here. You'll notice these two holes here though, one here and one there, they have a little cover on them. I've taken them off, a little sticker. And so you'll wanna take these stickers off a little flat head screwdriver. And then we have all these screw holes. You got one, two, three, four, five in the front, closest to the camera on the, on the bottom of your screen. Then you have one, two, three, make seven. And then you have one, two, three, four, makes 11 screws. And then you have one, two, and one, two. And then that'll bring us to the back side over here. So these are the four screws. You had one here, one here, and then one here, one here. Go ahead and release the battery. Get this out of here. Make sure it's not locked. You do need to remove the battery. When you remove the battery, you have one screw here and one screw here. You have one screw here and one screw there. So a total of four screws in the little tray here with the battery. Then what you wanna do is grab a screwdriver and just get it to the left. See my, this is the hinge, don't touch the hinge. Right here, go ahead and plop this up and maybe get into the other side of the hinge and pull off these little hinge covers. There's two of them, so you just do the same thing on this side and other hinge cover. Yes, you have to take these off. This is where you're probably watching the video is a lot of people don't realize that you have to take these covers off and there's two, one screw here, one screw there, and one screw there, one screw there. Those look like this. Now, you can actually take the whole thing off. Um, except the CD-ROM drive. So, interesting thing, you've ever, if you've never noticed this little engraving here, there's a little engraving here. And that means, that's an like engraving of a CD-ROM drive. To show you that when you take the screw out, it releases the CD-ROM drive. And so you should be able to just pull out the entire CD-ROM drive, the enclosure and everything. And if you notice a little screw hole there, that's because when this is in place, that screw back back on right here, this screw holds the CD-ROM drive in. Kind of cool thing there. And then I would remove that. And then um, the case, go pry it. What you want to do next is start prying the case open uh, from the front. I've already pried mine, but just, you know, get in here and kind of just plop it up. Make sure you break the bonds here and just really easily go around. I did not do this over here, but you can see somebody going very aggressive who did not take out those two hidden screws actually bent the metal over here. Luckily, they don't really care that much about aesthetics, but um, you wanna definitely get this pretty much detached to the point where it can kind of open up like this. But again, you, if I were you, when you take the whole thing up, I would do it upside down. To me, that just seems a little easier. And then you just kind of pry it up. And you, I kind of want, I like to go backwards like this to the left, go like this way. And then it comes right off. And now, as you see, here's my computer. Like I said, mine had a bad RAM chip and I recently upgraded to a solid state hard drive. Little fun fact, these Hyundai hard drives are actually pretty good and they have a good warranty and they're often very cheap. Um, over here you have your CPU, GPU, your cooler, your LAN card, that's where your RAM's at, this is where your CD-ROM drive hooks up, there's all your ports, um, uh, battery, power port over here if you're having charging issues, battery over here if you're having charging issues or power issues. Um, you know, that's just about it. That's how you get to the back of your system. To put it back together, you just go in reverse order here yeah, there we go. Now it's going. There we go.
and should boot right back up. There we go. Look how fast that boots now with the SSD.